Now that I've solved the mystery, I'm going back to meet with my client. The intent to steal is not exactly a serious crime, but it can't go unpunished. I'll see you two later. Nico, did you choose the Hagoita for the third round of the Test of Courage because you already knew about Chizuru? Miko, Lady Yai, you're... I followed Kitsune Saigu around the Mikawa Flower Festival one year and saw her play Akitsu Hazura. That was when I saw you. You didn't have a human form at the time and possessed only the earliest traces of sentience. I remember now. You were on Kitsune Saigu's shoulder. I went for a stroll on the beach some time ago and sensed a familiar yokai power. Though your power was weak, I was still able to find you. You were sitting in a tree, gazing at the tourists below. I overheard you telling yourself that you must be patient and avoid contact with humans. Huh? When was that? I didn't notice you at all. With your powers being so diminished, it was only natural that you didn't notice me. You must have been blaming yourself all this time. You knew Kamai and the samurai became friends as a result of Akitsu Hazura, a game connected to your existence. At the time, I couldn't take on a human form like this. I had only a hazy sense of the outer world. After they first met at the Mikawa Flower Festival, I felt proud to know that I had left a mark on their story. But after they said their final goodbyes, I could often hear Kamai sighing to himself. I couldn't help but hide, because I blamed myself. When I woke up again, the world had changed. Lady Yae, you are a well-known yokai. You must know many more things than I do. So I have a question for you. People meet, become friends, and then go their separate ways. After such a short time, they leave only regret and sadness in their wake. Is it really worthwhile for us yokai to interact with you? Why not? Tell me, how did you feel when you played Akitsu Yugen with the Traveler? I felt happy, but... Hmm, but your rationality told you that it was wrong, didn't it? It turns out that there is still another piece to the story of Kamai and the Samurai that you are missing. What do you mean? The Samurai and Kamai never met again. True, but the story doesn't end there. That Samurai's name was Yanagibashi Takuto, who also happens to be the founder of the Soran Ishin art. It is believed that Takuto developed this style of swordsmanship while dueling with Kamai, who had also befriended the third-generation heir of the Soran Ishin art, Tominaga Masanari. Five hundred years ago, Kamai and Tominaga fought side by side until their final moments, and the sword Tominaga wielded was passed down from Yanagibashi. The regret Kamai once felt had finally been resolved. Oh, I never knew. We yokai are not like humans. Humans have too short a lifespan, and the day will inevitably come when we must say goodbye. However, the bond formed by friendship will not be broken, but rather carried on in a new form. There's no reason to be upset by this. Time flies by in an instant, and life passes by like a dream. So, you must be happy in the present. You should understand what I mean now. Hey, compadres! Ito, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hitomi told me everything. And I also heard that you won the last round. I even know who the ghost lady is now. Anyway, I had a little discussion with the others, and, uh... Hey, you're that fox lady. Why are you here? <laughs> Please just disregard my presence. Now, tell us what you discussed. Ah, right. <clears throat> All right, listen up. To celebrate the end of the Test of Courage event, we will be holding the Mikawa Flower Festival! I gave it some real thought and realized that it might be kind of difficult for those little yokai to hold the festival on their own. But with my help, it won't be a problem! That's right, 
Arataki, the one and only Ito, will be in charge of organizing the best Mikawa flower festival anyone's ever seen. Hooray for Ito! Oh. Uh, can we really trust this guy with the festival? Hey, what you trying to say? Besides, it won't just be me. Other people will help too. Even my bro Ayato is gonna be there. Everyone's busy getting ready, and the festival will be up and running in no time. It won't be long until you can all join the fun. <laughs> You're the best, Ito! And what would a festival be without me? I'll be sure to go have a look, too. Ah, <sighs> it has been some time since I've attended a festival. Fortunately, I brought sake with me. Paimon's gotta admit, Ito does have his moments. A festival, delicious food, count Paimon in! Uh... All right, I'll join. If you don't mind, that is. Looks like the festival has started! Let's go check it out! Oh, I was just saying that if I had more time, I'd have built a massive fishing pond here. Fishing? You know, when I lived on Watatsumi Island, I used to just dive into the sea and catch fish with my bare hands. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish is nowhere near as fun as using a fishing rod. Just the other day, I caught a fish so big that I didn't even know how to handle it. I even wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House about it. That's an unusual problem to have. Huh? A big fish? How come you didn't tell us? Paimon could have helped you eat it! Huh? You wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House? Oh, you bet I did! I wrote to the That's Life column and asked Miss Hina for advice. Ah, she's so amazing. She got back to me really quickly, too. <laughs> 